my loves welcome back to our youtube channel it's olua kemi at day solar and if you're seeing my face for the first time please be nice enough to click on the subscribe button watch my old videos or look out for upcoming videos and if you're a returning subscriber of course you know how to do it here thank you for always coming back about ways you can get over an ex ways you can move past a previous relationship and things you can do that will stop you from looking back into that relationship or things that would stop you from considering going back into a previous relationship now the first thing is making that decision you know um sometimes when we break up we still have it somewhere at the back of our mind that mm, something might still happen i might still go back to this person there should be no might be sure make the decision that this person you're not going back to this person this situation you're not going back into it this toxic situation ship you're in you're not going back to it make that decision be clear about it stand firmly by and on top of that decision that no you are not doing this again you're over it and you're out that is the very first step and it is actually the biggest step it is the foundation of every other thing that you might do to get over that relationship but the very first thing is making the decision that you are not going back no matter what no matter how persistent that person is is with apologies and gifts and whatever or sweet talking you into coming back into the relationship I have it that you've made that you've made that decision that you are not going back no matter what anybody says no matter how hard everybody tries to convince you to go back into that relationship be sure about your decision and stand on it now another thing is change their name um this might sound so little might sound so small but it is a very big step actually change whatever you save their name with on your phone if you save their name with my love baby other half better half sweetheart whatnot change it you can change it to a full stop you can change it to a comma you can change it to a hash hashtag you can change it to apostrophe whatever just change that sweet name that you've given them that sweet image that you've given them change the name on your phone or any of your devices another thing is setting boundaries you can actually call the person your partner or have a face-to-face -face conversation that okay we're breaking up and even if we're going to stay friends which is not advisable which is never advisable even if we're going to i want you to give me three months i want you to give me six months i don't want us to cross path because i really want to get over you like we all know, if you see an ex maybe a few days after the breakup, there might be that rekindling of the old feelings and everything. And whatever steps you might have taken previously, everything is just going to go off and you're back in your feelings for that person. So set boundaries with this person that let's not cross paths, especially if you have friends in common, if you have mutual friends, set boundaries i don't want to see you anywhere let's not cross paths let's not hang out with the same people at least over a period of three months or six months or one year or five years however long you think it's going to take you to get over the person set that boundary i don't want you to call me i don't want you to text me i don't want you to comment on my pictures or my post or whatever over this period of time is going to help me get over you faster that is what i mean by setting boundaries now another thing that you can do is accepting the fact that it is over i mean don't have it anywhere at the back of your mind that oh, okay maybe if he apologizes i'm going to take him back erase the thought from your mind having that even if he apologizes you are not going back wish him well wherever next is going to be with he should go and be a better person with that with that individual but you are out of the picture so accept that it is really over no buts no maybes no eves no anything just accept the fact that it is really over now make a list take a paper and a pencil or a pen or whatever 
write out things that happened in your past relationship things that made it go south things that made everything wrong your fault is fault write everything down think about it pondering it and take it in digest it process it so you would know what to work on before your next relationship another thing you can do is disconnect from this person okay let's say this person gave you something special to remind that that always reminds you of this person maybe a cloth a pen um just any gift basically that reminds you of the relationship of that person discard it if it's a cloth you can give it to your cousin or your little sister or your brother or something just make sure you're not seeing that thing make sure you're not seeing that thing that is like that is a constant reminder of the relationship that was disconnect with this person if there is a show a tv show or or like a podcast you both usually listen to or watch do not watch it or listen to it for the time being because it's just going to keep reminding you of your relationship or that person now another thing you should do is making yourself realize the fact that missing someone is one of the steps of letting go it is normal for you to of course you're going to miss your ex you were together for over a period of time you were happy you made memories you know there was connection there was a love between you guys but because you miss them now that they are an ex does not mean you have to go back it is one of the steps of letting go miss them grieve be a lord if you need to cry cry if you need to wail wail nobody is going to stop you or do not let anybody stop you but it's going to hurt it is definitely going to hurt but doesn't mean you should go back it is one of the steps of letting go you have to let yourself realize that change your focus now what i mean by this is that you have to distract yourself find something that you enjoy doing that is going to take your time um if you enjoy watching movies binge watch a lot of series watch movies watch shows cooking shows pageantries and whatever that you know is going to distract you if it is music if music is going to be your source of distraction then listen to music listen to listen to music even if it's going to be music that are going to make you emotional or cry or remind you of the relationship do it listen to it watch those movies let you it's probably going to help you to release some emotions that you don't need so do that distract yourself change your focus from the relationship and thinking about that person to doing something that you will enjoy or that will help you release some emotions practice self-love and what do i mean by self-love you can take yourself to the spa you can go get a facial it's done you can go get manicure pedicure whatever it is you can go for a massage you can go for karaoke hang out with your friends most especially friends that you have abandoned during the course of your relationship hang out with them you know surround yourself with love surround yourself with your family surround yourself with your good friends surround yourself with people that are going to encourage you practice self-love do things for yourself that are going to make you happy things that will put a smile on your face you know it will be be careful about your thoughts and the things you think about the kind of information you take in be careful about them you know that those are the things i mean by self-love now the last but not the least is giving another person a chance and i'm not talking about one month after your previous relationship or two months after your previous relationship you have to take your time from that relationship find out your faults find out where you lack find out uh, things you should have done better you know you could actually write those things down and work on them work on yourself before you even think of giving another person a chance and the reason you have to do this is so you wouldn't make the same mistakes you made with your ex with your next and the reason you're doing this is so to avoid making mistakes that you made with your ex 
with your next so you have to work on yourself to a certain level so those are my tips to getting over an ex um i'm not sure i i said it all but though personally these are the things that works for me and few people that i know these are things that work for them don't go back to social media stalking their pages you know or creating a fake page to stalk them to see what they are up to it is not going to help you heal faster avoid these silly things or you know you planning a revenge or something you don't need it move on from whatever happened that is going to give you more peace of mind and you know it's going to speed up your moving forward from that relationship anyways that's all i have for you guys today i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did few minutes and if you're yet to subscribe to my channel this is another opportunity for you to click on that subscribe button share this video with all of your friends and families and even your foes i don't mind <laughs> give this video a thumbs up and interact with me in the comment section let me know what works for you and how you get over or how you got over your ex it's your girl Olua Kemi at Desola. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.